What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports. You're watching our college football channel. We continue with our 2023 predictions. The Alabama Crimson Tide are up next. Here are some of the other predictions for this team. The FBI has them at 11.1 and 1.6. Uh, the, the overwhelming favorite to win the SEC West um, and also the favorites to win the SEC. Um, FBI really high on Alabama. They have them as the number two team in the country. Athlon, the preseason magazine, also very high on this team. They've got them going 12-0, then losing to Georgia in the SEC Championship. And then the over-under, it's at 10.5. So 10-2 or 11-1 seems to be the most likely scenarios according to Vegas. So my thoughts on this team, um, I feel like, let's just go back to last year for a second. You look at this team last year. Remember, this is a team that I picked to win the national championship in the preseason last year. I also picked them to win it all in 2020, which they did. But last year obviously was a disappointment. Uh, you look at the, the losses. Yeah, they were really close games, games that they could have won. But then look at the Texas game, a game they very easily could have lost. Texas A&M had the ball, the chance to win it at the end. Ole Miss had a chance to win it at the end and couldn't. So you, you see three really close games there. And this is just not the same Alabama team that just goes out there and dominates 10 or 11 of their opponents every year. And maybe they have one or two close games. Uh, the, the field has caught up to Alabama. They are no longer, you know, you could maybe argue that Georgia is now that team, but Alabama is not that team that just goes out and dominates everyone in the SEC. I think the defense will be really good for them. I'm not really concerned there. You know, I was really high on this team last year because of all the production they had coming back, all the talent they had coming back, and it didn't quite pan out. This year, they don't have that production, but they still have a lot of talent, but it's just a lot of young talent. I am concerned, though, about the offensive side. Bryce Young really carried this offense the last couple of years. I think people just don't appreciate how good he was. I believe he was the best player in the country last year. Um, I, I'm not saying he should have won the Heisman because he did have the injury and everything, but um, this is an offense that really has not been great since Steve Sarkeesian left, but Bryce Young has still made them really good. Well, he's not there anymore. Uh, receivers are going to need to step up. They've got loads of talent there, but again, it just hasn't really clicked with some of these young guys. The run game, I think, will be pretty strong. I think they're going to get back to their old ways of trying to run the football, uh, play good defense. And I, I've said this before, I think they're trying to kind of take the blueprint from Michigan because that's what Michigan has done, and they've been very successful at it. But can you do that in the SEC against all these great teams? Uh, time will tell. But let's get to the schedule here. Uh, they will open up with Middle Tennessee on September the 2nd. Home game should be an easy win. I'm going to say they take care of business and start off 1-0. and All right, next up, we've got the game against Texas on September 9th. Huge game. It'll be a primetime game. And originally, when I was going through, and, and, and I like to sit down and just quickly go through and do my predictions, and then I'll come back and, and maybe look at some of the games a little closer. But originally, I thought, uh, this is a win for Alabama. Look, they won last year. This year, they're at home. Uh, this is one. I don't see Texas going in there on the road. But the more I look at this matchup, um, and, and that's another thing this year, I'm trying to get away from the home and away so much because uh, it's been to where if it's a close game, I'm just going to pick the home team. Well, not this year. I'm trying to really dive into these games into the X's and O's and everything, and really look at the roster. So you go back to last year, and when Quinn Ewers was in there, I think anybody that watched that game would say that Texas looked like the better team. Texas looked like a better team than Alabama last season. Alabama found a way to win. That one big running play they had uh, for that touchdown was big. You know That was huge. And uh, still, Texas, with Hudson Card at quarterback, almost came back and won that game. Now you look at these two teams this year. Defensively, Alabama's still going to be really good. Texas, I think they're going to be solid on defense, but yes, they're going to take a step back. I think Alabama definitely has a better defense than Texas going into the season. But when you look at the offensive side of the ball, Texas has a much better offense. Uh, you look, I think they got a better offensive line. They've got better wide receivers. Running backs are pretty, pretty close. And then you've got an advantage at quarterback with Quinn Ewers because I'm not sold on Tyler Buckner. I think he's going to be the starter. Uh, but I just I don't think they've got a great quarterback on the roster. I don't think they've got a guy that's going to be great, at least in 2023. So I think the passing game is going to struggle a little bit for Alabama. Um, and so I just look at last year and the way Texas actually looked like the better team. They have more experience coming back. I think they lean on that experience even on the road. 
And this Texas team pulls off a shocker. They upset Alabama. Yes, I'm going with the Longhorns to beat Alabama. I'm telling you, this is not the same Alabama team uh, that we've seen before. Now, this may blow up in my face because what I think is going to happen with Alabama is they're going to be special. They're going to be elite. They're going to go back to their to the old school ways. They're going to dominate the ground. It's going to work. Nick Saban's going to look like a genius. They're going to win a national championship. Or it's not going to work. They're going to struggle. They're going to have a lot of close games and probably lose two or three of those close games. And it's going to be a, a really disappointing season. So uh, I could see it going either way. I think they lose this game to Texas. They bounce back against South Florida, which is really just a recruiting trip. Uh, I think they take care of business in that one. So I've got them beating South Florida. Ole Miss on the 23rd. This is going to be a tough one. Ole Miss, again, really, sh I feel like should have beat Alabama last year. They had the ball. They were running it really right down their throats. And then at the very end on the last drive, I believe they threw it four straight times. Uh, just a terrible play calling. And I think that really cost Ole Miss in that game. Uh, so I think we're going to see a, a, an exciting game again. I think it'll be close. I do think the run game for Alabama will wear down the Ole Miss defense. Fourth quarter, they take care of it, uh, and Alabama wins this game. Next, you've got Mississippi State on the 30th. Still trying to figure out what to expect from this team. I think they're going to be pretty good. They've got a lot of veterans. Uh, it's it, The Cowbells will be going. Tough place to play. I think it'll be a test for Alabama, but I think the talent will overwhelm Mississippi State in the end. And Alabama gets the win here to improve to four and one. Next, you've got Texas A&M on October the seventh. Uh, we saw, you know, a couple of years ago, Texas A&M beat Alabama at home last year, almost beat them. Uh, it's just something about this matchup. Uh, Texas A&M seems to play their best. I I'm concerned about the Texas A&M run defense. Can they improve there? Because Alabama, I'm telling you, they're going to want to run the ball this year. That'll be the big X's and O's part of this game. Uh, Texas A&M, can they improve in the offseason off there? I think the offense will be better with Bobby Petrino. I think they're going to be able to score a little bit better this year. And so maybe it's more of a shootout. I don't. I wouldn't say a shootout, but a little bit, a little bit more scoring than what we saw last year. And the defensive line for Texas A&M makes the difference. Playing at home, that also will be a big difference here. Texas A&M pulls off the upset. Aggies beat Alabama and give them their second loss of the season. Next, you've got Arkansas on the 14th. Uh, I think Alabama comes out angry. They come out motivated at home. They play really well. They take care of business in this game and improve to five and two. And really, with the two losses, you're still a playoff, you're still alive in the playoff picture because if they can run the table and maybe knock off an undefeated Georgia in the SEC championship, they could still make the playoffs. So a lot to play for. I don't think they're going to give up after the two losses. Tennessee is a big revenge game. I believe they'll be really fired up for this one. I think they're going to really game plan to keep that Tennessee offense off the field. They will run it and run it and run it. And I think that's going to be effective. I think they will, will make some stops because they're playing at home. The defense will play really well. Alabama gets revenge in a very close game over Tennessee, and they get to 6-2. and two. Next is LSU after a bye week. Another revenge game. I've had a hard time with this one because I just I don't know what to expect in this one. I think Alabama will be really fired up. Again, another revenge game. LSU can match them, though, or come close to matching them talent-wise, but they're going to have, I believe, a much more explosive offense. So I, can Alabama slow down this LSU offense? Uh, I think the bye week will be big. Nick Saban will be prepared. The home crowd will make a difference. Alabama wins a very, very close game. And I think some of the some of the, the problems on offense, they start to get better for Alabama. I think they will definitely improve on that side of the ball as the season progresses and they get a big win over LSU. Next, Kentucky on the 11th. Kentucky is going to be good this year. Uh, I think that that passing attack with their, their receivers and Devin Leary at quarterback definitely is going to be a challenge for Alabama. I think it's another close game. But I think the talent of Alabama does win the day. They come up with a big fourth quarter and win on the road. They beat Kentucky. Then they beat Chattanooga. And then you've got Auburn at the end of the season. It's in Jordan-Hare. If Auburn is good, they're probably going to win this game. That's just how this rivalry is gone. Uh, I don't know how much of a jump Auburn takes this year. I do think they'll definitely be improved from where they were last year. And I think they'll be improved enough to make this a very competitive game. But again, I think this is an Alabama team with the new coaching staff, uh, the, the new coordinators and everything, a lot of new faces, a lot of young players stepping up, some transfers. 
I think this is a team that gets better and better as the season goes. And I think they're going to be better at this point than when they lose to Texas or lose to Texas A&M. And I think they will find a way to win in Jordan-Hare. It's a tough, hard-fought Iron Bowl like it always is. But Alabama gets the win, and they finish 10-2. and So that's my prediction for this team, 10-2. and And again, don't get too hung up on the overall record, or on the individual games, I should say. It's really just about the overall record. I make my, my predictions. I look at the schedule, decide what I'm going to pick. Then I will go in and, and sometimes move some games around. Um, I, I had Texas A&M and Auburn as the losses at one point. Uh, maybe Texas A&M, LSU, maybe Texas and LSU. I mean, there are a lot of different ways it could go. I do think their four losses, or their two losses, will be from those four games. Texas, Texas A&M, LSU, and Auburn. I feel pretty confident in, that they will win the other games. Uh, but I do think out of those four games, they will lose two. And for the purpose of this video, we're going to say it's Texas and Texas A&M. And I've got Alabama going 10-2 and two in 2023. Give me your predictions down in the comments below.